We're here at Glendora Ridge Road riding the fully electric 2012 Zero DS. It's got the larger 9 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is good for supposedly good for 112 miles. Welcome to Ride Apart. So this new 2012 model Zero DS is special because it has an all new battery pack that packs nine kilowatt hours of electricity. That is a ton of electricity. That is like twice what a Toyota Prius has. And that makes this thing expensive. The W's Guide to Battery Costs is like $1,000 per kilowatt hour and this thing's got nine. So you have to figure at $14,000, because yeah, this thing does cost $14,000. I'm getting like $9,000 for the batteries, about $5,000 for the motorcycle. And $14,000 for a bike that only go about 100 miles on a range and top out at 84 miles an hour is, is steep. But that, that's the problem of early adoption, you know? You are paying a premium to say you're one of the first people to own one of these. Zero is really up against game in terms of, in terms of motorcycle components. They used to basically be glorified mountain bikes, they have garbage mountain bike brakes and everything, but now, nice, easy, real components, real high quality damping, high quality brakes, stainless steel braided lines. The thing that is different is the transmission is a single speed, and when you roll off, there's really not much engine braking. So, that's sort of an alien experience. There's, there's still a nice, solid connection on this Zero, between the throttle and the back wheel, but a lot of electric bikes have struggled there. This one, you can just, just nice and natural roll on. You see, once I roll off, I gotta get on the brakes to slow down. I guess you could say it's like a two stroke, but honestly, there's not much on here that's like, that's like a conventional motorcycle. It's, it's, you really don't bring motorcycle expectations into riding this, because if you do, you will be disappointed. It's more of a futuristic transportation device. to say this is this is a pretty special experience to be out here on a beautiful day up in the mountains of Southern California just whizzing along on an electric motorcycle I mean this people talk about these things being the future and there's no way these are as fast as as a conventional bike but this is this is still a unique experience this is just it's cool hey look it's Grant oh great <laughs> and there's the problem with electric motorcycles Grant's on a Piaggio BV350 it's faster than my $14,000 motorcycle. Go a lot further on a tank, pretty much unlimited, you can hop on that thing and ride it across country. Worst part is that little scooter, 350cc, significantly faster than this electric motorcycle. That thing goes over 100 miles an hour and this thing tops out at 84. Scooters like that BV350 are sort of, they sort of rule in European cities like Milan or Rome. You know, the great fuel economy, that 350 sort of, I guess the USP of it is that it gets, it gets 500cc performance and 250cc fuel economy, which means 75, 85 miles per gallon. Park it anywhere, cause you know, pretty much zero dollars to run, zero dollars of maintenance. Store stuff under the seat, store stuff in that top box, throw it down the road, doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, it's the ultimate in, in practical vehicles. This Zero essentially achieves the same thing. It does it in admittedly a sexier package. It does it with zero emissions, which is appealing. It does it silently, but there's not a lot that it does do beyond those things that that scooter can't do. Sure to wish I'd rather be seen riding though. Grant looks f***ing torquey. <laughs> All right, well, I've done 27.8 miles, and I'm at exactly half a battery. Ouch. What's your fuel tank say? I am saying I'm uh, a little over a half. Yeah, we filled you up, like, way back. You probably only fit, what, 50 miles? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, geez. I mean, this, thing, this thing's fun. It's no sports bike. It's no real supermoto. It's just it's fun to cruise around on up here. But 
at the going rate right now, I'm going to get 50 miles, 50 miles of cruising around on kind of a, kind of a slow bike. So you said you've got how much range left? I got about 25 miles left. So you think that's going to get you home? 25 miles would not get me back to Azusa, much less anywhere civilized. So um, let's keep on trucking then. Let's go get some lunch, I'm hungry. To get the positives out of the way, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fun. Handles okay for something on $3 Chinese tires. What it doesn't do is allow me any flexibility in my life whatsoever. That 112 mile an hour, 112 mile advertised range is, they, they got to that using some MIC industry standard tests. Wherever that test is, it's bull um, I've been getting 60 miles out of it. Even with a quick charger, even with a 240 volt quick charger, it takes five hours to get a full tank. So if I'm getting 60 miles and I have to wait five hours to go another 60 miles, that's a huge problem. From my house in Hollywood, the downtown for our usual meetings mm -hmm. is 10 miles. From downtown to Venice is 15, 18 miles-ish, right? So I'm, 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 I'm thinking of doubles. I gotta I got get there and back because I have to charge at home. So downtown is a 20 mile chunk to me. Venice is a 30 mile chunk to me. Yeah, it, it, it's a halfway decent motorcycle. Buddy, that is leaps and bounds. <laughs> leaps and bounds. If you are a Google software engineer and you want to geek out on electric bikes, yes. you know what, you, you can do this now. You, you, can, you can spend $14,000, you can geek out on an electric motorcycle and impress all your software engineer even, buddies. Even better if you're Facebook because you're about to be a millionaire like that anyways. Yeah. Yes. Excellent way to spend your Facebook stock. I can guarantee you that all the female software programmers at Facebook will definitely have sex with you. Where the f are we? We're at, we're at Mount Baldy. We're at Mount Baldy, which is what, 70 miles from my house? Somewhere thereabouts, yeah. 60, 70 miles from home. We've got half a tank, half a battery, excuse me, left on the Zero DS, <laughs> having put 28 miles on it so far. Um, we're going to go see if we can get home or not. And I'm going I'm to guess that I'm going to end up pushing. We've gone 44.3 miles. Telling you it's 44.2 miles? 44.3 miles. I probably got, I'd estimate 15 to 20 miles left to go. Okay. That'll get you to 60. Oh, yeah. Not two bars and flashing. I don't want to talk right now, I'm really scared. Losing power on the highway is not fun, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go pee behind this tree, F guys. And I don't know what's gonna happen. I know Wes is so scared, he's peeing himself. So 58.8 miles. Um, it's showing like it's got nothing in it, but I mean, it's clearly got some juice left. I think we just, didn't quite have it in us to run it out to see what happened. So I guess that's the end. I mean, I would have liked to have known if we would have made it a little further, but I guess, you know, who knows. Okay. Let's walk it up, come on. So what you basically just asked me to do is put myself in danger of your f***ing you, but Tom, you. Like, it's just... I'm gonna meet right here. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, 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 no power, no power. This is it's not cool. It's not of a uh, cameraman sitting with no seatbelt illegally in the back of a Ford Raptor pickup truck. Trying to throw him out. Oh, there he goes. He clipped himself in with the carabiner. <laughs> That's safe. That's safe. I guess just talking about it in terms of... Oh, we're going to that stuff.
What's that? 